Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategies we show today are for informational purposes. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is still your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. Okay, as usual, we are starting off with the gold daily chart. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we can see primarily we are really just encompassing these uh, two candles that push us up. There you can see we're having really close above here, nor have we closed below here. So really been in this range from about 1717 up to about 1794, with the hopes, of course, uh, as in today's action, of actually getting back up here to 1800. Now we have, as we know, there's that inverse relationship between gold and a dollar. And we had some negative news out of uh, the dollar today, specifically from one of the Fed uh, regional uh, presidents who basically said that recent FOMC policy was a mistake and he said that there's really no intention of another quantitative easing. Now what's interesting about that is that although that was um, negative for the market, uh, it actually should be good for the dollar because it means they're not going to weaken it anymore. Um, so we got a nice little doji here and we'll, so we'll have to see which way it breaks from here. We can see on our hourly profile that it just really hovered, so a lot of resistance up here, a lot of resistance up here. Uh, so we really need to go ahead and either break up to, uh, new highs at 1800, or we'll probably come back down and retest that 1717 on the way back to the 20 moving average. When we switch over, we can see that that information about the dollar really led to a nice move here on the pound dollar, <clears throat> and we finally broke above this resistance price level. And remember, what did I say? What were we going to need to really break through it? And that is volume. So as we come down here, we can see that today's volume, although not uh, magnificent, did give us pretty much the most volume in this most recent uptrend. So we got the volume to move us higher. Now we have to get a little picky because we can see there is one last hurdle. We have this wick right here, again at 1.654, and that's basically where we close. So this is the next hurdle. Notice that we were above this, and then the sellers came in and pushed us back down. So we need to continue to have volume, and we need to continue to have the pound and control in order to get this to move higher. And so what do we see on our hourly? We can see we are well above our long-term moving average. We are in a sell zone, getting ready to cross beneath our short-term moving average and what we're seeing is we initially had this big move up here in that divergence uh, meaning they're going in different directions but now they're coming back together and with the, but the dollar could not take control which had this sideways price action we can see here's our pound trending higher and we can see the dollar once going sideways now moved lower and now it's consolidating the other thing to point out here on our uh, one hour time frame is this lovely uh, uh, uptrend that we have here. So it'll be interesting to see if we can get a pullback to test this uptrend line. Switching over to the euro dollar. We can we don't see the strength. Sure we got a move but we didn't see the, the real push higher. Uh, we did get volume here also, but you notice the price action really didn't get what we were looking for, and our downtrend line is really 
holding up as good resistance. Um, so what I will be doing right now is we can see here on the hourly that there's really a range, even though we got a little pop out of it today, we popped out of it to the top side, and here we are to the downside. Here's this range that we've been in for about two to three days. So uh, if we get another pop back up, that'd be great. Uh, but again, long term, our downtrend is in effect. So we're above our long-term moving average. We're in a sell zone. We broke below our short-term moving average. We may see that move at least back down to the bottom of this channel. Why is that? Well, just like that, we can see that the euro took control, but then they came back together, and the dollar may be fractionally in control. Uh, even though it's moving sideways, uh, we see that the euro did spike up here at the close. But ever so slightly, I can see a little red above the green, which means the dollar is fractionally in control. If it does remain in control uh, on our daily, we'll see this price action, we'll see this downturn line stay intact, and this is going to move lower. Finally, we'll go to the dollar franc, and we see the nice move that we made here on the daily. The, the dollar franc caught up to the rest of them, although it didn't reach the 50 moving hours, it did air kiss it a little bit, and now we're sandwiched in. So we have this range of 0.8 Zero seven eight to point seven six one four, but we also are sandwiched in here between the twenty and the fifty moving average. Look at the volume on this down move. So that's going to be interesting. We are above a long-term moving average, but we're in neutral as far as the Bollinger Bands, and we can see the same thing here for the past couple of days. We're in this range. Um, so when we break out of that, that certainly would be something interesting. So I wonder if that means this is going to be our low volatility watch list. We can see that the franc take control, but unlike the euro and the pound, the franc kind of basically remain in control. A little dip here, but it's remaining in control. Um, the dollar may have a bigger dip. The franc is going sideways. So um, you know, if the dollar can once again take control, uh, we'll we'll make another run at the 50 million average. Otherwise, we'll have to see if this 20 is going to hold up as support, or are we going to come all the way down and test uh, 0.7614. I will watch uh, these wicks. They're here at 0 0.7780 for a potential run. A closed bid low there would get us a run probably down to test this area. As we move to our watch list, first we have our low volatility watch list, which is our one hour time frame with our Bollinger Bands, and we're going to continue to watch the dollar franc as we talked about earlier in our video. And we're going to watch the Euro Yen. For our inside bar watch list, there are none uh, for, for today. We're finishing off with our education spotlight for today. And the question is are you ready to rumble now? This is a little bit more popular saying here in the in the states, uh, which goes uh, along with boxing. Michael, uh, I forget what his name is, but before every fighting match, he says, "Let's get ready to rumble." <laughs> and the reason I have this on here is quite simple. You have to understand that although you don't need you need to be in full control of your emotions, this is a battle. There are people, specifically professionals, looking to take your money. Um, if you trade widely, if you trade loosely, if you trade uh, undisciplined, uh, they're going to take your money. Uh, the way I like to say it is, you know, uh, when you go shopping, uh, most people either do a little research first. When they get to the store, they uh, they look for the sales. Um, so that's what you should be doing as a part of your setups for trading. Find the, the wholesale prices and give them back to the losers, the unprofessionals, the inconsistent traders at retail. Because see, that's what makes them a retail trader, a newbie trader, inconsistent trader. Because they're buying at retail, they're buying at, at resistance where all the professionals are selling. So they're selling to get out, and they're getting in. And so therefore, there's not enough momentum to keep it moving higher. So you have to remember that each day you have to have a game plan, you have to have a trading plan, you have to have a, a purpose for why you're trading, because otherwise there are people who will beat you into uh, your bank account going to zero. <laughs> As always, you can find our videos on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. You know about our resources. We have our free uh, probably trading course, our coaching, uh, 
it's all about developing a trader's mindset. We can help you one-on-one -on -one develop a personalized training plan, help you develop a, a game plan to get into the ring and to be able to defend yourself and more importantly, take advantage so that you are the ones applying the pressure and not being pressured. For Forex, why not get paid to trade? There are ways to get rebates for your trading. It doesn't change the spreads. It doesn't change your trading conditions. Just get rebates, cash for trades. And again, those people looking for signals, they're a great uh, signal ranking providing system. Find people that match up to your tolerance, your capital. Receive the signals, trade them yourself, or have it traded automatically. As we said, this is a battle. This is about making mon money. This is a business. Treat it like a business. Treat it like a, 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 your focus and discipline, and you'll be successful. Go into the ring with no game plan and get ready to be pinned. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.